Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockrander. Today's story is Super Patch Day. You probably know the drill by now. It's the second Tuesday of the month, so that means Microsoft Patch Day. But today, both Adobe and Apple also share Patch Day. So let's start with the Microsoft bulletins. As expected, they released 12 security bulletins. And these bulletins fix security vulnerabilities in Windows, Internet Explorer in their Edge browser, Office in some of its components, and also Silverlight in some of their scripting languages. Of these 12 bulletins, Microsoft rates eight of them as critical, and that means bad guys can leverage them to remotely execute code. So for instance, if a bad guy can get one of your users to visit a malicious website or interact with something that has a bad picture or a font, he can actually leverage these vulnerabilities to force code onto that user's computer. So as is always the case, you definitely want to patch these vulnerabilities as quickly as you can. I highly recommend you take care of the critical ones first. Now my general rule of thumb for Microsoft patches is I tend to just let desktop clients download the patch automatically. Whereas for production servers, I want to test that patch before I put it on a production server. For the most part, this is pretty good. You're not going to run into too many patches that break things. But that said, there are exceptions. Last month, there was an Outlook patch that did kind of mess up Outlook. So you might want to test all the patches before you deploy them throughout your network. Moving on to the Adobe updates, today they released least one bulletin fixing uh, tons of vulnerabilities in Flash, literally 78 security vulnerabilities. And many of these are rated critical, meaning if a bad guy can get you to visit a Flash site or any website containing Flash, they can leverage it to take control of your computer. So if you use Flash, you definitely want to upgrade that as well. Finally, Apple also shared today's patch day and they released updates for almost all their software. Any operating system they have, whether it be uh, OS 10, iOS, watchOS, tvOS, or whatever, there's a security update for it, so you have to go get it. They also released updates for Safari and Xcode. So really, the moral of today is if you use Microsoft products or Apple products, there's something you have that you probably need to go patch today. And if you use Adobe Flash, you want to patch that as well. In any case, there's a lot of information about these updates available out there. Uh, I'll post links to Microsoft and Adobe's bulletin, as well as Apple's security page and others' write-ups of today's patch day. So if you're interested in all the details, be sure to check the blog post associated with this video. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.